Always know they be there watching time go Planning moves, staying solid to this cheat code Get your money, make it big, fuck being broke Get your money, make it big, fuck being broke Live slowly, be there watching time go Make it moves, staying solid to this cheat code Get your money, make it big, fuck being broke Get your money, make it big, fuck being broke This is how it is, the mission's Benjamin's And fuck the drama and the bullshit, we ain't little kids My circle's small, but my writer's heart, they never quit Get your money, keep it Things are solid, straight shit. Never switch like the real ones that die for this. It's fucked up, but this is truly how it is. I hope you're ready if you're picking this life full of sin. No turning back, I'll represent my vital to the end. Fuck the fakes and the snakes and everyone that hates. I'm not phased, I won't break, bitch. I'll never change. You are not watching MOD Entertainment. What's good, G Life? This right here is Los Angeles. Obviously, from the footage, Los Angeles in the 1940s. Uh, we'll be speaking about, you know, one of, if not the most famous uh, Chicano case that was out there uh, that put gang banging, you know, front and center nationwide. That put the whole Chicano um, barrio Pachuco lifestyle, you know, right on the spotlight. You know what I mean? Uh, and this right here. Was a domino effect that caused all kinds of desmadre, you could pretty much say. Um, you know, it was a fight. It was a fight between, you know, the government, the groups, race. You know, a lot of factors play into this into this case, you know, heavily. Um, but they used the street gang as pretty much... Um, it's pretty much uh, the disguise to, of what they were really fighting. You know what I mean? What was really at stake here and what was really uh, being um, being made as a statement. Um, now, for those who don't know, uh, the Sleepy Lagoon murder is a murder that occurred roughly around the 1940s. Uh, between um, a group of young Pachuco Zoot Suiters, uh, members of the 38th Street gang. 38th Street obviously being one of, you know, Los Angeles, you know, large notorious neighborhoods now often when i talk about the g series a lot of individuals like to say that, that no 38th street is one of the original gangs uh uh, uh they're the deepest and and etc now although 38th street is a very large gang and although 38th street is notorious don't get me wrong you know what i mean they handle business on I me mean, they got real writers in their group uh, they really are not, they're old, but not as old as like, you know, Clanton, uh, Wife is Maravillas, you know, gangs like that, you know, uh, they, they're old body, but just not that old. They go back to the 1940s, roughly around the, when this incident occurred, you know what I mean? Um, is, is when they, you know, when they were first starting. Uh, so gangs have already existed, but the reason why they put gang banging, you know, front and center nationwide is because uh, of this murder, you know what I mean? Of this murder that occurred, uh, you know, these, these, uh, youths were at a dance, you know what I mean? Uh, there was some drinking involved. Obviously, uh, those are facts because, you know, the optos, the optosy test, uh, showed, you know, you know, heavy amounts of alcohol and etc. And obviously, they're not old enough to drink. Um, so, you know, they were in the dance. And then this group of individuals got in a conflict with another group of individuals. So they t they took a drive, you know, to Sleepy Lagoon, you know, to to, to throw, you know, putasos, you know, to handle their beefs, to, you know, to, to, to throw it down. Uh, somewhere in the mayhem, you know, because you have, you know, a group of individuals on that side, a group of individuals on this side. You know, so there's brawling going on and everything like that and all kinds of chaos. So then when everybody starts, you know, you know, dipping, uh, yeah, a dead body is found right there. You know what I mean? Um, of one of these um, participants of this rumble. Um, and now the reason why this made headlines and everything like that is because um, Americans were already tired. They were tired of these zoot suiters. They were tired of these delinquents. They were tired of the Hispanics, to be honest with you. They all of this was just used as a smokescreen to hide their racism, um, and people can't even say that there was no racism um, because let me paint you the image of the times we were living in the 1940s. Because people always forget that in the 1940s, what, people when they describe the history, they always seem to forget the actual history. How you see, view California and Los Angeles now, where you see a bunch of Hispanics and blacks and all of that. 
That's not how it was back in these times, my boy. You were the minority. There was no raza around. You guys made, you know, a small amount. You were surrounded by pure whites, Americans. You know what I mean? People don't really know how many Americans there is in America, bro. I know in the cities that you guys live in, you probably mostly see blacks or or Hispanics. But my boy, we are not even close to be. Their numbers are outrageous compared to ours. You know what I mean? Uh, so for those who think that, like, nah, well, we outnumber them, like, boy, what are you smoking? <laughs> you Not even close do we outnumber them. <laughs> you know what I mean? They outnumber us, like, 50 to 1, bro. Like, what you talking? Um, and that's the real talk. So, you know, there was a great, and, you know, white people, hey, man, they down for their shit, too, homie, and they get pretty big, hey. These guys ain't no suckers, dog. When it really comes down to throwing blows and they, they, they got the manpower, you're not going to be able to fight off, you know, th- uh, that amount of people, bro. That's too many. You're eventually going to get tired, and, and it's going to overwhelm you, you know. Um, anybody can see that, you know. There's only so much you could do, you know, but when the numbers are against you, they're against you, bro, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, these guys ain't no suckers either, you know what I mean? They, they got, you know, they will handle their business. So, you know, back then... You know how people say that, you know, blacks were getting lynched and all of that. Very true. But not just blacks, but also Hispanics, also Asians, also Irish. Anybody that they consider an illegal alien, my boy, they were getting treated the same as a black. Right. If they weren't able to find black, man, they go hang whatever person that they see out there. You know what I mean? They were getting hogtied, beat. And I'm telling you, you know, I talked to OGs. These guys were getting, you know, they were getting the business. They were getting the work done on them. You know what I mean? They were outnumbered. And, you know, all these guys were driving in pickup trucks, like, you know, four pickup trucks. You know what I mean? They, they're rolling up, and and you know th- this is all facts. You know from different locations because this was happening throughout all of the United States, not just, um, not just here in Los Angeles. You know, but throughout wherever the minorities were, um, it, it was an it was it was a battle. It was a battle in New York, battle in in Texas, battle in Colorado. It was a battle everywhere they were at. They just didn't like them. See, that's the thing with America. That's the one thing that um that they always have had. Uh, you know, throughout their history, if it's not the Mexicans, it's the blacks. And if it's not the blacks, it's the Asians. And if it's not the Asians, it's the Italians. And if it's not the Italians, it's the Irish. You know what I mean? The government has always been really good at working its people, right? Blaming, you know, getting them to fight against each other, right? Throwing the diversion in different locations. And race is always a perfect, uh, uh, a weapon to use because, um, it is the one thing that people can see that you guys have different. Whenever uh, you have ends uh, with somebody, you're always going to try to look for the differences. Not not the, you know, obviously not what you guys have in common, but the differences. And what more obvious than your, you know, um, skin complexion or your face features. You know what I mean? It's the most obvious. So that's why it makes it, you know, so believable and why a lot of, you know, people, you know, fall for it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but it seems like this has always been the tactic since, since the get-go. Now, so, you know, it, this was happening equal amongst, you know, the the blacks, the Hispanics, and everything like that. So, when the Sleepy murder occurred, they arrested, a, you know, about like 17 of these, you know, youth guys. You know what I mean? Um, they arrested them and trialed them for murder, you know, of this individual. The reason why it made such headlines is because of the location that the murder took place. Suburban area, where a lot of whites were. So now these guys feel, man, they're getting too close to where we're at. Now it's becoming a threat, a problem, because now it's hitting home. Before they were at a distance, so they couldn't really care. They let them kill each other. But now that it's affecting like where they're at, their communities, they're not liking it. So they try to make an example of these individuals, right? Uh, with three of them getting first degree murder and sentenced to life, nine of them getting second degree meter, uh, second degree murder, facing five to life, and then five. Uh, other individuals just getting uh, a bunch of other time, you know, to the to, to them as well. Um, obviously, there was no evidence to even because uh, the individual uh, died, you know, because he was struck by a vehicle. Uh, but no one know who did it. There was no evidence to show that these were the individuals that actually were the ones that, you know, that it was their fault. No evidence. There was no evidence. Nothing. These guys just got arrested and, 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 convi- and, and they trialed them and they convicted them, bro. 
you know there was no justice for them um it, it, you know they they pretty much you know they, they didn't like these hispanics and and they were just going to make an example out of these guys right but then you know everyone banded together we're talking about celebrities we're talking about uh uh um, governors uh, and senators, and we're talking about um, activists. You know what I mean? This was a a big movement, one of the you know biggest movements, uh, uh, you know, for Chicanos and everything like that. You know, because uh, clearly there was you know obviously some racial you know shit going on. Um, obviously, you know, people could tell that the, you know that you know it was unfair how these people were getting treated. I mean, you guys see the signs and all of that. You know what I mean? Uh, these are the times that we're living in. Uh, so obviously they disliked these people and they just, you know, pretty much hanged them. And um, so, you know, they fought for them. You know, they fought for them. Uh, and, and, you know, they signed a petition with all kinds of people that, that sided with these with these with these young boys who 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 were barely like 15, 14. And they're already getting life sentence for something that they, they, they can't even uh, prove that it was them. You get what I'm saying? So like, <laughs> it, 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 man, this whole case is is was crazy. Um, so they fought for them and they ended up actually, you know, winning now, you know, releasing the boys, you know, from jail, or whatever. Now you could understand why a lot of white people were, did not like this. And it set off all kinds of shit. You know, you guys see the movie Zoot Suit, uh, you guys, you know, hear about these stories of, of the Zoot Suiters and they, you know what I mean? The thing is that they were heavily outnumbered as many gangs that there were. Cause that's why gangs started. Gangs started because the police were a part of these, these riots. The police would help these sailors and these white people beat up these people. So these guys couldn't call the cops. The cops were the ones bombing on them. They can't call the cops on the cops. You know what I'm saying? So they had no one to, to stand up for them, to, to fight for them, to defend them so these groups of youths got tired of you know the harassment banded together and started forming barrios throughout all of uh of los angeles you know what i mean and other places uh to you know to be like nah we had enough of your shit and, and fuck that you know and and, and, and the zoot suit riots were not only affecting rasa but they were affecting irish italians uh, uh asians blacks you know that's the reason why you have a bunch of these barrios that are mixed you know they're mixed uh irish italian like wap town like lincoln like clover uh you know like barrios like that you know um they have like different uh ethnicities to them or temple you know with asians and stuff like that because they were getting mistreated all they blamed all of these guys you know what I mean? So that's why they banded together to to defend their their, their people because there was nobody else that, that could stand up for them. You get what I'm saying? Uh, they created this 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 mess. You know, um, they're the true creators of of this chaos. Uh, because remember, even though they banded together, they were still heavily outnumbered, heavily outnumbered by these individuals. You know, now you're seeing because they you know they moved more you know to different states and stuff like that. Uh, but so before, right here, you maybe had like. Like 30 Mexicans and you got maybe like 300 whites, bro. So like, I mean, there's only so much you could do. You know what I mean? Um, these were different times. Um, so, you know, there was the Zutu riots because, you know, obviously they, 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 they seen that this is bullshit and decided to take matters into their own hands, justice into their own hands. Um, and it's what created this whole uh, chaos to begin with. Uh, but that's the reason why 38th Street, uh, you know, people think of them as uh, one of the pioneers and movements is because the reason why is because they were front and center. They were front and center because this this case, right, this case made headlines through all over the place because they were looking to make an example out of these out of these youths. Despite if there was evidence or not, they were going to fucking sacrifice them. You know what I mean? Um, and obviously them being members of the 38th Street Boys, uh, which is now the 38th Street Gang. Um, you know, that's why people think of them as, you know, the originators of the, you know, front and centers is because this case was so, was so large, but no, there was vatos that were around way longer than that, you know, that were going through a, a similar events, but not at this magnitude. The reason why this one was blown so large is because it hit too close to where these whites were and they weren't liking it. It was too close for comfort. You get what I'm saying? And then they were just already fed up and of these pachucos and, and, and they were just fed up of them, period. You know what I mean? Uh, so this was just the, this case was the case that, this was the straw that broke the camel's back, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's why uh, it got so much, you know, headlines and, and everything because it caused, you know, this ripple effect, you know, throughout all over the place, you know, between uh, whites and Hispanics and, and shit like that. Um you know what I mean? Because of this incident. But that's the reason why this gang even formed to begin with. Because someone had to, be, you know, protect their people. You know what I mean? Because um, there was no one else that was going to do it. 
you know, and, you know, because once you start fighting back, you know, they think twice about, you know, now trying to fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? But if you just let, let yourself, they're just going to keep, you know, stomping all over you, bro. Um, and, and, and that's the reality of it. You get what I mean? Uh, that's why these barrios, you know, whatever. And then, and then it just took a life of its own and, 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 and it mutated into what we have now, you know, cause not, what their causes were back then and what their causes are now is two whole different things. You know what I mean? Um, because this, this vital is still around. 38th Street still around. You know what I mean? They're still larger than before. Heavily larger than before. You know, located in several different spots. But obviously, you know, South Central being their home. Right on 38. Um, you know, it, it's, it's you know, it's still a well-oiled machine that, that keeps moving forward. You know what I'm saying? Um, very notorious. Very large. Dangerous. You, you get what I mean? Um, but yeah, that's the reason why, uh, you know, it gets so much like headlines or people get it often confused that, oh, like... They must have been the first or the largest because of this, you know. But um, that was the only reason why, you know what I'm saying. And now, although this this uh, case, you know, when they were going to trial and everything like that, um, pretty much what was really going on was the whites were trying to say, we ain't tolerating you Mexicans and, and we going to fucking do everything in our power to, to make examples out of you guys. You know what I mean? And, and these activists were fighting for the democracy of America, you know, so showing racism exists and, and minorities shouldn't be treated like this. And, you know, they were both making statements and they were just using this trial as, um, as the means to make their statements. You know what I mean? They were pretty much the, you know, the, the rope, you know, and they're playing tug of ro tug of war with them. Uh, it wasn't really about, you know, these individuals. It was more about uh, these uh, political agendas and, 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 and you know, motives and views. Uh, sad but true. You know what I mean? Uh, how, you know, they use uh, they use their people to to to, you know, to make their statements or, 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 or you know, prove their points or, you know, at whatever cost, you know, at whatever cost to get the W, you know, you know, from the other group or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, they don't give a fuck about what happens to their people, bro. They just care about them being right, even if they're wrong and, and and it's causing all this damage. They don't care, bro. They only care about themselves and their agendas. That's it, period. You know, it's been going on since since forever. Um, you know what I mean? Because, look, people have to think about it like this. This happened around the 1940s. Not that that wasn't that long ago, bro. That wasn't that long ago. You know what I mean? Um it really wasn't that long ago, bro, that we were still having all of this bullshit going on, you know, but that is the famous, you know, Sleepy Lagoon, you know, case, um, you know, what it revolved around and why it made national headlines, you know what I'm saying, um, and why the 38th Street was the one that was, you know, plastered front and center, uh, but that's what's up with them, 38th Street gang, and the whole Sleepy Lagoon case. Thank you for watching Emoji Entertainment. Make sure you like and subscribe.